Hey guys, welcome to part one of the tinny trailer build. So I don't know if you've seen any of my last videos. Um, I think we're on the coast around, or oh, might be in Onslow somewhere. Uh, I had a little tinny trailer, uh, but the wheels, little cheese cutter wheels, I think it might have been a bulldog uh, foldable or collapsible trailer, or whatever. and it was good, good what it was. Um, but it's a little sort of, still got to bolt together and it still takes you bloody sort of 10 minutes of mucking around, piss farting around. Um, I had enough of it. Tires were digging into the sand when it was real soft or if it was a bit down to the water's edge, you try and pull the boat out. Um, it just was a nightmare. Two or six longer than it needed to be. So uh, I've come down to my cousin's workshop. He's been nice enough to let me use the workshop for a little bit and get my hands dirty again. It's been a while since I've been on the tools. Uh, and I'm gonna knock up a little alley uh, tinny trailer. It's not going to be road legal. It's not for the road. It's not what it's for. Um, it's literally going to stay on the top of the tinny when it's on the caravan. Um, and basically, yeah, just for sort of even when I get to the boat ramp, I can still pull it off to launch that way if I wanted to. But it's mainly for when we're off grid, on the beach, um, off road sort of thing. It's going to have quad tyres, same wheel track as the um, Yamaha Grizzly, the 700 that we got. So I won't be pushing as much sand. It should hopefully be. A lot easier, a lot easier to use. Lightweight, super lightweight, can let the tyres right down. Um, I can't take credit for this design, I've actually pinched it off Jace. So Jace, if you're watching, uh, Jason Andrews, All for Adventure, uh, when we were filming season 13, just recently, um, I had my little trailer there, but uh, Jace's was already off the, off the ute. Uh, so we just, I grabbed his, he let me borrow it. Um, my boat was sort of, my tinny was fairing around the camera crew. Uh, so we just used his trailer and it was just so much easier, it was just, a lot of load off the quad. Um, the quad sort of was working its guts out with my little trailer, but put on this thing and uh, this little trailer was fine. It was happy days. So um, it's not going to be uh, every little tiny detail. It's just going to be a bit of time lapsing, a um, bit of welding, a bit of TIG welding. It's been a while since I've been on the TIG, so bear with me. Don't hang shit on me if uh, it looks horrible. But um, yeah, we'll get it going, and uh, if you've got any questions about it, uh, measurements, anything like that, um, I'm happy to sort of answer any questions. Uh, so Jace won't mind. He's um, knocked up a super simple design, which he's tried and tested it, and you, know, you can't argue with those guys. They take that stuff out of you. So anyway, sit tight, let's give it a go. Right, one thing I've got to do is I want to make sure that the wheels on this um, trailer are bang on with the, um, the quad that I run. So I run a Yamaha Grizzly. Uh, 2017 700. So, what I'm going to do is find some specs online, find out what the wheelbase that is because I don't have the quad here, uh, it's around the corner, and set up my axles, my stub axles, with my main axle that I'm going to bolt them to, um, line up the wheels, and just get pretty much a rough, so like fairly accurate within sort of 10 20 mil. Um, so, my wheelbase on the trailer is exactly the same. Um, and you'll see more videos to come if I stuff that up, it's not going to be the same.
a couple of hours. Uh, I did get caught up um, for an hour. I was laying on the phone. Um, bloody dark now. But just got a little just the A-frame sort of ready to go. I'll um, take a few things up. Made a couple of design changes. I've decided. Um, spoke to uh, spoke to my mate Jace and uh, bounced a few ideas off him and. Um, just decided I'm going to go with a bit of a gooseneck. Try and raise the uh, drawbar up maybe another 50 mil. Um, get it out of the muck and the sand and the salt flats and stuff like that. So we'll see if that works. Um, instead of just being straight. Now I'll tackle this up, a few more cuts, and then I'll design a few alterations to this gooseneck. We'll see what happens. Since I haven't been on the tools for a little while, test piece, I think, is the go. I'm still got it. Just drilled stub axles and the main axle, I'm um, just being this alley 50 by 50. Bolted that all up just roughly. Um, just gonna weld the axle to the frame, subframe I guess you'd call it. Uh, just tack it all in place, see how it looks, see if my overall wheelbase ended up being what I wanted to be. Um, so I bought the wheels up, have a quick measure, make sure it's all spot on with the um, Yamaha Grizzly and we'll go from there. Right, from my tech drawings, must have been a draftsman in a previous life. It's pretty bang on the money. And I got this gooseneck. I decided to go 100 mil higher. So with 50 mil, um, maybe 50 mil, but I thought, you know, I'm gonna go 50 mil, I'm gonna go 100 mil, see what happens, and always cut it off. And Start again, but uh, no, I'm gonna go, go 100 mil. So when I, basically, so when I drop off the edge of an embankment or a washout or a creek bed, um, the, you know the drawbar's not gonna get hung up straight away. Uh, I'm gonna have that little bit extra sort of clearance. So um, yeah, start following with that. You, know, you do some six mil alley plate to do it rather than just um, stack a box section. A bit rough. Uh, yeah, give it a go anyway.
Rightio, so we've just started on the goose deck uh, with a little tinny trailer. Just sort of tacking it up, a bit of six mil, probably a six mil plate, alley, and some 50 by 50 box. I'm just gonna run the alley MIG on this stuff because um, I'm running out of time. And although the, the TIG always looks a bit better, I'm just, I'm so strapped for time at the moment. said tip looks a bit nicer but does the job just as strong let's keep going righty-o so just give yeah, a quick update because i turned the camera off for a little while i was running out of batteries and i burnt myself and got a bit over it but um so gooseneck so far as you can see the idea of what i was trying to do is uh obviously quite just going to come on here when you drop your back wheels off a little embankment um, or a little washout sort of thing, you can go and actually 100mm clearance on your drawbar. Um, so, until I test in the field, I don't know if I was successful, successful or um, you know, stuffed up, but hopefully it's strong enough uh, with that fish plate and that. Uh, it's not going to create any weak spots, but we'll see what happens. So far, so good. And all that goes together. Let me zip that up with the uh, MIG. And away we go. I don't know if you can see that. 
Hopefully, have a burn your camera. Any questions about what I do uh, when I'm doing this sort of stuff or when we're doing the other visit videos um, like when we're out and about with the family make sure you drop a comment uh, let us know because the more interaction I can get with you guys the better I can stream what you know what content you guys want to see so uh, leave us a comment even just say hi so I can have a comment on a video that'd be sweet thanks guys Well, that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna um, get off the table, chuck the axles back in, uh, chuck the wheels on, probably chuck the hitch on, just get a feel for it. Uh, but leave it at that for the time being. I've sort of run out of time. I've still got to pack up and, and get home, bit of a drive. So yeah, thanks heaps for watching part one, guys. Really appreciate it. Um, jump on, hit that subscribe button if you can. Um, give us a like, give us a thumbs up. Give us a comment, let us know what you want to see. Um, if you think I ramble on too much, then let me know. Otherwise, I'll just shut up and keep doing what I'm doing. Um, got some heaps of cool videos coming up, uh, not too far away, back to the beach, back to the coast. That's what we love doing, but we're just sort of prepping for a bit of it. Um, got the caravans coming, that is end of this month, so like about uh, maybe 25 days away. Uh, we get to pick up the new Royal Flare Raptor. Done a heap of stuff to it, uh, made a heap of changes to what the Raptor comes standard. Um, and the guys from Royal Flair and also the guys, so Sarah and Leo from um, Caravan Culture down south, south uh, southwest of WA I suppose you'd call it, yeah south of Perth, um, they've hooked us up big time so stay tuned and you'll see that.